Hello out there. It's Thursday. Welcome to another edition of All Things Real Estate. If you're liking what, you see, what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe, please. The little subscribe button below. Um, today, I am going to talk about, um, I'm going to give you the answers to questions about pools that I get a lot. I've been talking to people about building pools a lot lately. I think uh, due to COVID and things like that, we're all spending a lot more time at home, of course. And it's summer in Texas, so everybody's thinking about how to get outside and have fun. And the only way to do that in Texas is with some water. So I am going to um, tell you about the top three questions that I get most often about pools in relation to houses and values and things like that and give you those answers. So stay tuned. Okay. So the number one question I get asked a lot about pools is how much do they cost? And the answer to that question has a lot of variables. It's almost like asking how much does a house cost? There's a huge range, right, of housing costs, um, just like pools. So in general, what I would say is I would say a pool costs anywhere from about $40,000 to over $100,000, depending on what kind of pool you want to build. So the $40,000 pool is more of a basic pool. It's going to be, you know, just sort of a rectangle or um, a, you know, pond shape in the ground, typically without a hot tub. Um, and it's probably going to have the standard um, gunite white bottom. Um, when you start adding different things, like you start adding the Pebble Tech bottom, which is the colored bottom, like the blue, you know, colored bottom, that's going to add costs. If you add a hot tub spa type of thing, that's another about $10,000 added to the cost of the pool. And then, of course, there's all the bells and whistles, right? There's the sprays, there's the water fountains, there's a diving board. Um, it also costs uh, differently if um, you build a really deep pool and that kind of thing. So I would say best thing to do is get a bunch of different, get an idea about what you want, right? Is a hot tub important to you? Is the pebble tech bottom important to you? Uh, do you want a basic shape? Do you want kind of an amoeba type shape? Do you want any kind of fountain and that kind of thing? And then get some estimates. And that is the best way to get an idea about what the pool that you want is going to cost. And then you can always take different things off of that. Um, I will give you some advice from building my own pool at one point. I took out, when we built our pool, I took out the little, um, we had a wall with um, some ribbon fountain type things coming out of it that was going to be toward the back of the pool so you could see them from the house and I took it out because it was going to cost about another five thousand dollars and it's like my biggest regret is taking that out um, I would love to have that wall now for the pool sound and things like that but hey I have my pool so I'm happy with that but bottom line how much does the pool cost cost as much really as you want to spend so uh, contact pool companies and let them give you a menu of costs from your most glamorous decked out pool to the basics. Okay, the second most common question I get is how much does it cost to maintain a pool? If you're maintaining it yourself and doing all your own chemicals and cleaning and things like that, I, it doesn't cost that much because pool chemicals um, are not that much. You can do a little test tube of the water. You can take it to the pool store, have them test it. They will tell you what you need. You come home, you put them in and you're done. So if you're maintaining it yourself, I would say you don't need to allocate more than about $50 a month on maintenance. If you are hiring a pool company to maintain it for you, where they come by every week, they sweep it, they do the chemicals, they do all that stuff, um, that typically is between $120 a month to $160 a month. $160 a month on the high end. $120 might be if they're just doing chemicals and just doing like a basic clean. Uh, 160 is if they're, you know, they're sweeping, you also have a hot tub and that kind of stuff. So if you're going to have someone else maintain it, it is, it is a little more expensive. I will tell you that in my own experience, I, when we built our pool, I maintained it for about a year. And then I said, I'm done. <laughs> I'm hiring somebody because I just felt like it was one more thing about the house that I had to take care of in addition to the cleaning and dishes and laundry and dinner and all that kind of stuff that I typically do. So I thought it was worth it to actually hire a pool company and we're allocated, we allocate that in our monthly budget as a family. Um, and I think it's worth every penny because my pool is always sparkly clean, which it wasn't always when I was maintaining it myself. But I would say you're safe if you um, generally just say, um, I think I'm going to maintain it myself and I can do it for 50 bucks a month. 
or I'm going to have someone else maintain it and just um, assume that it's going to be 160 a month for, for that general maintenance. The third question that I want to answer for you today is about resale value. And this is a little bit of a kick in the gut sometimes when I go to, to a house and um, they say, hey, I'm going to sell my house, but I built a pool a year ago. Generally not a good idea to do that because you're going to lose money. <laughs> if you're going to stay in your house for a long time and you think it may not be your forever home, but you're going to be there for five years, 10 years, I say, go for it, build that pool, have fun with it, love it. If you think that you are going to be moving in the next year or two, don't build a pool. And I'll tell you why. So if you just say, say you spend 60 or 70 on your pool, when I come to tell you about, you know, the the value of your home when you're ready to sell it, I'm only going to be able to give that pool about 20 or 30,000 on a comparative market analysis, which means that the house down the street is just like yours, has all the same um, upgrades and amenities and things like that, but you have a pool and your neighbor doesn't, you're only going to get a bump in your value of about twenty or $30,000. It's not going to be the sixty or seventy that you actually spent on the house. That's what I can tell you about resale value. It does increase your resale value because I do find that more people that are buying homes in the Dallas, Rowlett, Rockwall areas more people are um, wanting pools than don't, so that is good for your value, but you're just not going to make all the money back that, that you put into it. So take care about that when you're making the decision whether to build or not. So I hope that helps you answer some of maybe what your questions were about um, possibly building a pool. Uh, and I want to just also say, bottom line to me is, um, if you want to build a pool, which is what I wanted to do for 10 years, had to uh, talk my husband into it for a long time, um, do it. I say do it. And um, especially, it, like I said, if you're planning on staying in your home for a little while, my family loves it. We're outside in it all the time. And um, I really, really enjoy it. So I say do it. Just be careful not to, you know, just make it like the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, watch what you're spending figure out what uh, your important items are, spend the money there, and just don't go overboard and enjoy your pool if you decide to build one. And if you have any more questions about pools or home values or uh, if you need a pool contractor or anything like that, you need some referrals, come to me. I'm your girl. And I will see you next time on All Things Real Estate. Thanks for watching. All Things Real Estate. All Things Real Estate.